Hey everyone, there is a good news that Trey AI Code Editor have updated their pricing plan and their pro subscription cost only $3 per month and they have also higher monthly credit limit than the cursor. So in this video, we will do the full comparison between the cursor and Trey AI Code Editor and after watching this video, you may shift from cursor to Trey because they have the more advantage than the cursor. Okay, so you should know this because this cursor or this tray AI code editor, both are using the same model. So if you go to their model drop down here, you see that this cursor also has this uh, Claude Gemini GPT 4.1 models. And also this tray have the same models like Gemini GPT 4.1, DeepSeek and all of these. So why will you pay more to cursor? So, and so that's why this video is important for you guys. So please watch this video till the end. Now many people may ask me one question here that uh, Tray is completely free, right? Then why should I switch to their pro version or pro subscription? And uh, one thing you have to know that uh, Tray is completely free, but uh, when you are using their free version, then sometimes you will see that uh, your position is at uh, 106 Q or 60 Q. Okay, so that means when uh, many people are accessing this tray AI curator, then they send your messages to the queue. Okay, and that, that queue limit is actually sometimes so high that you have to wait uh, 5 minutes to 10 minutes for a simple change. Okay, so in that case, it is very much difficult to work with this free version, and uh, that's why they have introduced this uh, uh, pro version or pro subscription. So this is the update from Tray. You started that we have built Tray to be agentic, customizable, adaptive with killer DX and versus cursor. First of all, monthly subscription. If you see that for cursor pro, it is cost only $20 per month. So if you go to their pricing page, here you see for cursor, it cost $20 per month pro uh, subscription. But for this Tray, here you see for the first month trial, you will you have to pay only the three dollar okay you have to pay only the three dollar but after the first month you have to pay only ten dollar so ten dollar is less from the cursor right and also you will get the higher credit limit how let me show you and you see for this cursor pro uh, you have this 500 per month uh, premium model request but for this tray you will get 600 per month premium model request that means for the less uh, amount, you will get more credit limit limit per month. Okay. And also here you see uh, this yearly pricing means if you don't want to pay monthly, if you want to pay for the whole year, then in that case, it, it will cost around $7.5 per month for the tray. And uh, for cursor, it is cost $16 per month, which is very much uh, greater than this tray okay almost double so why will you pay double amount for the cursor you should use this tray right and also here you see uh, if your monthly 600 quota got completed then for the next premium request you have to pay only 0.02 dollar for this tray but for this cursor it is 0.04 dollar per request which is very high okay and also here you see advanced model all request it is unlimited and uh, for cursor it is partially unlimited okay and obviously uh, this monthly uh, for the second month from the second month you have to pay ten dollar for this tray and for the from the first month uh, you have to pay twenty dollar for the cursor okay now here you can ask one question to me that does this tray have the same agentic capability, same uh, MCP server capability like the cursor. Yes, this tray have all of that capability and I will say that it has more capability than the cursor. Why? If you go to my channel, this code digit and here in this search option, if you search tray and press enter, then you will find two videos. Okay. And please watch this video tray 2.0 and there I already discussed that how will you get access to this tray agent tray mcp and also you can apply the all the rules and mind-blowing upgrades okay 
basically if you go to this tray then in this ai management setting option so follow my cursor there you will find these agents okay there you can create your custom agent also okay so if i click on this here you see that i have already created this testing agent and they have these two built-in agent which is builder another one is this builder with mcb these two are so based that when you will use all of uh, any of these two built-in agent builder then you will get the best output okay and uh, here you can create your own agent and uh, if you go to this mcp there also you will find uh, many of the mcp uh, built-in server okay here you see you can easily add it okay and also if you don't find uh, your uh, mcp then you can configure it manually from here it is very easy guys to configure the mcp here in this tray and also you can set up the rules and uh, you can use any custom model also okay so if you see in case of cursor also you can use the um, use the custom models but sometimes it is very difficult to use that custom model with the agent mode okay so if you see that in cursor there is agent mode but for the custom model it is sometimes very difficult sometimes it is not uh, working with this agent mode uh, but if you use that custom model uh, here in this tray then in that case also that model is perfectly working with their agent mode okay here also you will find many options this agent okay and also they have this context so they have this code context file context folder context doc workspace and web all of these things you will get here okay and also all of that latest model and other thing you already know that tray is completely free to use if you don't want to pay then also means if, if your monthly credit uh, got expires or all of that uh, monthly credit then also you can use their uh, editor and also you can use all of that premium models but as i mentioned that uh, currently uh, if you use the free version then there is a queue you have to wait so that's why they have released this uh, premium pro version so that you can get the flexibility to use this AI code editor and uh, if you see that uh, in this post they have mentioned all of these things one by one and I hope this detailed comparison is helpful for you guys and if you found this video helpful if you want to switch to tray from the cursor then please comment down below that uh, yes I found tray helpful I want to switch to tray and my suggestion is uh, please switch to tray please try it and, and uh, please check it okay because there you have to pay less amount than the cursor okay so and another thing is that uh, both of this uh, cursor and this tray both are using the same models right both are using Gemini 2.5 both are using Cloud 4 then why will you pay more to uh, one code editor than the other right so that's why i think you should think and you should try this new tray ai code editor and if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel if you want to get this type of videos more please like this video see you guys in the next video thanks for watching